Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. We are here on Frogata slash Leapfrog. This is my kid core island that I have flattened for my new island, which is called Frogata, which is going to be based on the state of Florida. If you have been keeping up, you'll know that. But if you haven't, you wouldn't know that. And that's okay. But today I was really craving just sitting down and doing a good old classic let's play. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. I keep doing speed builds and stuff like that, but we just haven't had like a, like a good let's play, you know? It's been 47 years. So today, come with me as we do some stuff around the island. I truly don't know how much we will be able to get done today. I actually currently have an open plot that I'm villager hunting for Lily with. So we can't time travel. So hopefully that won't be an issue. So the only parts of this island that I have really worked on is the cliffs, as you can see on the map. I made that giant Florida shape and I did like a half-baked entrance to try to get some tropical vibes in here. It's cute. I like it, you know? And then I started working on this little Everglades portion over here. It's all right. It's it's okay. We have Boots' house right here, so I thought he would be a good addition or a good villager to be manning the Everglades portion. I don't know. But I truly don't know what's next. My struggle has been I just don't know where to put things like I haven't really found a layout that I'm going to do for this island because I want to have so many different types of vibes going on like I want to do Everglades I want to have tropical beach kind of feel I want to have Disney World I want to have all kinds of stuff and it's kind of hard to figure out where everything is going to go and how do I transition all these different areas seamlessly because they all have different vibes like I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of struggling a little bit. But I think we should continue to work on this Everglades portion because I did start it, so I might as well finish it, you know? So let me first start off by kind of cleaning everything up here. Okay, I mostly cleaned everything up, but I'm coming here in my storage because I'm trying to figure out like what other type of stuff I want to grab. I haven't gone out and specifically tried to curate some furniture collections for this Florida island, so... I kind of have like what I have and that's really it. I, I really do need to go and get more stuff, go get more DIYs and everything like that. But I thought that I could use some storefronts to maybe help us transition a little bit. I was thinking that these could be like the little buildings that they have in like the Everglades, like the, the welcome center or whatever. I don't know, I, I don't know, but you kind of get the vibe that I'm talking about. So I'm gonna grab some stuff to maybe build something like that. And I wish I had more of like the vine items, but I really don't, unfortunately. But those would be really good. I have been thinking I'm gonna use a bunch of grass standees and stuff like that, so we'll probably do these. I gotta customize these lighter ones to make them darker. And of course, lots of wheat fields. This is gonna be the tall grass everywhere. I think that's perfect. Hey, maybe some of these mush logs. I feel like that's good. And you know what? I feel like this dinosaur toy could be really cute. It might look stupid, but let's try it. It could be some sort of like a reptilian creature that's in the Everglades. <laughs> the amount of Kuropi snacks I have in my storage right now is absolutely obscene. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Before we get to it, I actually found another custom design that I potentially want to use for this. So this person actually has a really good swamp water like code like with all of these little flowers and like little pieces of grass in the water and like an alligator sticking out. So I really like this code for the Everglades. I'm not gonna use it because it's a little too like yellowy type of water for me. I really want blue water, but I am gonna take this little alligator that they have and we're gonna use this. I'm gonna put that right next to the little snake. But okay, let's go ahead and start up the Island Designer and see what progress we can make on the Everglades. It does not have to be perfect whatsoever. It does not have to be finished. But I just want to, you know, try some stuff out, make some progress, see what we can do. So we've got these cliffs over here, which I absolutely cannot touch because these are part of the Florida cliff. So I'm not going to worry about those. We do have some space over here by resident services. I could potentially put some cliffs here if I kind of wanted to separate the areas, you know. Again, I don't really know how to like transition this stuff. I've never done such like contrasting kind of areas so I don't really know what to do. Let's try it. Why not? Let's let's just try doing some cliffs. Okay so this is what I'm thinking. We kind of have something a little bit diagonal over here and then I'll probably just end it right here. So we have plenty of walking space here and if I want to do some decorating, if I want to maybe sneak a tree in here, I have plenty of room. So I think that's good. And the cliffs definitely add to this entrance area. I don't know if this entrance is going to stay like this or what. 
but at least for the moment right now, it does look cute. I like the clips being there. It's nice, it's nice. So now I'm just gonna figure out like how far back I wanna take this, how big I wanna make these cliffs, if I wanna do anything special with them. So I'm just gonna keep terraforming and I'll check in with you once I figure all of that out. It's not too big of a cliff. It's all right. It's, it's a little kind of a baby size, but oh my goodness, look at Bob. Bob is out here with a rainbow ice cream sitting on a little floaty, living his absolute best life. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Sadly, I'm gonna have to kick him off my island. But anyway, back to the cliff. I think this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll just like throw up some random decorations on there. Maybe we can do like palm trees or bamboo trees or stuff to like kind of transition from the Everglades to whatever else is gonna be on the other side. Let's figure out what's happening here with this path that I already started. It kind of leads up to Boots' house. I low-key wanted to lead all the way over here, but I don't know if that's maybe a little bit too much. Actually, you know what would be cool? If this branches off into some other like little skinny type of like rivers. I think let's try to do something like that. I think that'll be cool. I don't know if this makes sense for one of them to go like vertical and one of them to go horizontal. I don't know, but we're gonna do it. I think in the same vein, Let's also have one kind of extending from here as well. Let's just have all of these little branching rivers. I like that. Okay, that's how this is looking. I don't know if it's looking silly or what. And then in this big space down here, I was thinking I would put like some in-game waterscaping and then I'm working on another little river going up here. I think I might make this one a little bit thicker. Okay, I have this leading all the way up here. And I'm thinking like, I don't want to take it too far back. So I might add some more cliffs. So I'm going to get rid of a bunch of trees really quick. So the Everglades doesn't have palm trees. Um, they have like a bunch of like mangroves and stuff. And obviously we don't have that type of tree in Animal Crossing or even an item that's close, I guess. The closest item I found was this like pine tree, which I think is, is pretty good. Um, so I need to order more of those, but of course I cannot time travel currently. So... I can't order more of those, but I thought some bamboo trees were were okay. They, they kind of have a, an okay vibe. So I think until I can time travel again and order those pine trees, I will use some bamboo trees in the meantime. But I think I'll get to those cliffs in a second because there's a bunch of tree branches I need to pick up and my inventory is full. So let me start with putting down the water custom design on all of this and so we can actually get this to look like a river and not just a bunch of random sand. That'd be fantastic. You know, it's also funny that I'm building a bunch of cliffs on this island because because Florida has like no hills or anything. In reality, this island should just be like completely flat with no cliffs, TBH, but I can't do that. I, I can't, it's too boring for me. I don't think I could do it. So we're gonna do cliffs anyway. We're just gonna pretend. Okay, here's how it's looking. That looks so much nicer now that I actually put the custom designs on everything. That looks so cool. It looks, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Okay. Well, I really want to use that um, crocodile design that we just got. And I just looked up if it was an alligator or a crocodile because I was like, I don't know which ones are in the Everglades. And turns out the Everglades is the only spot where both of them coexist, which I had literally had no idea. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. So it can be either one. There we go. There he is. Perfect. <laughs> that's a really good custom design, honestly. Oh, Gail, I'm so... I'm so... Are you... I am so sorry. Oh, she's jealous. She's jealous that I found another crocodile instead of her. I'm sorry. Anyways, I thought the grass standees could be really good for putting them on top of the water to be like all of the little plants that stick up out of the water and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna do with those. You know what? I really need more of these trees to proceed. Like, I, I just need them. I need to know where they go. I think they are going to be very essential to this whole area. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go grab some from a, a very normal, totally regular island. I will be right back. I'm gonna get rid of this cedar tree that's been bothering me this whole time, finally. And we will put another pine tree in its place instead. Let me just fix this up, scooch it over. Okay, there we go. Yes, yes, this is what I needed. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and place all of these everywhere because like, these are pretty big hefty items, you know? So if I can figure out where these are going, then we can figure out everything else. We can just kind of like work around them a little bit. Okay, here's how we're looking. I placed 
quite a few around here, so I think that's good. Uh, let me save Boots' house for like last last, because I don't know what I'm going to give him in terms of a yard. And we'll just focus on these other areas first. AKA just like the main Everglades area, you know what I mean? So I'm going to pull out the island designer again, and I'm going to do that little pond that I was talking about, like a little lake area with actual water. I feel like that'll be nice. Honestly, I don't want to make this too, too big. I think I'm going to start from the middle, actually. I just want like a little pond and then we do stuff around it, you know? There we go. Just a little teensy pond, just like that. I think it's cute. And then for some more trees that aren't the pine trees, I am gonna do some bamboo trees. I don't care if it's not accurate. I know it's not accurate, <laughs> but I want some other height in here, you know what I mean? So we just, we just gotta make do. And then I did just realize I totally forgot to include some of this other custom design that I have for this, which is like this little lily pad with a little lizard on top. So freaking cute. So let me scatter some of these around. I totally, I totally forgot that it existed. So let me fix that. I don't want to overdo it. You know what I mean? We just got to get a few in here just to spice it up just a little bit. The other thing I'm going to need like so many of is wheat fields. I don't have nearly enough right now. So I'm just going to have to be ordering wheat field after wheat field for this island, honestly. Let's also try placing this mush log that I grabbed. I think, you know what? I think this will be good right here in this little spot next to the crocodile. Okay, I think that's much better. Gonna do another wheat field over here. And I think it's gonna be nice to have these kind of like overlapping the water a little bit, just so we kind of hide these edges that I've been making everywhere, like with the sand path and everything, you know? So those can go on top of the water. That's totally fine. Do not mind whatsoever. Another thing I thought would be good are some vine benches. Those would look really cute and kind of add to that overgrown feel that the Everglades has. I'm gonna do a little garden rock as well. Cute, cute. And of course there's like all kinds of creatures and things like that. So I did grab some snapping turtles from our totally normal island and I'm gonna be placing some of those everywhere but of course if we're gonna place down a little item like that we gotta do a puddle on the ground first absolutely you know how I roll so there we go we've got our little snapping turtle he's a little cutie definitely no beef against you from any previous island challenges or anything <laughs> definitely not and then let's add one of these little snakes, plenty of snakes in the Everglades. And I was thinking I'm not going to use too many like little garden items, but the moss ball was pretty cute. I feel like this is definitely something that would be in the Everglades. And then I know I literally only have two of them, but I wanted to put these vines on the cliff. They really do make a difference in like the vibe. I, I can definitely tell. So I'm definitely gonna have to get more. I, I don't know why I only have two on this island. <laughs> but of course, it's not a froggy crossing build without some sort of frog in it. So we're gonna put a little frog model over here. I think I'm actually gonna switch up where this snake is because we've got like a diagonal line of like creatures here and I'm, I'm not about it. I think instead let's do this little ruined seat. It's like a rock with some vines on it. I thought it was perfect. And then for some more foliage, we can do a little leaf pile. Honestly, I don't know how many of these I want to do. <laughs> They're not exactly the vibe that I want, but they work. They work okay. And I was thinking we could get away with a few of these cacao trees and not like too many, but a few. I actually think I'll push this one back and then we'll do a wheat field in front of it to kind of hide that little bag thing that it's planted in. Something like that. That actually works really, really well. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. I really want to cover like every single inch of this area with an item or a custom design or something. Like I don't want there to be empty patches. I just feel like the Everglades is like very crowded and like full of stuff everywhere. Like there, there's no emptiness, you know? So we got to reflect that here. And I really think that lots of alligators slash crocodiles is very essential. So we got to do like just a little bit too many. I think that's the amount we should aim for. Like enough so it's like, oh, uh, that's like a little too many here. And you're like, okay, perfect. That's that's the amount we want. Another thing that I completely forgot about that I can't believe I forgot about was weeds. How could I forget to put weeds? We can totally sprinkle some of those in. I also don't mind putting these a little bit on top of the water as well. Just again, to hide some of the edges and I don't know, make it look a little more blended. And oh my goodness, what are we putting here? Another crocodile? Wow. wow, who would have guessed? 
And then I'm trying to fit in these grass sandies wherever I can. I want them to be on the water, but I don't want them to be like too in the way of like where you're trying to step and everything. So I'm trying to be a little bit sparing with them. But okay, I added a few more things and I think this is coming along really nicely. It's looking nice and packed, just kind of like the vibes that I'm looking for. We've got the little rivers of water. We've got all kinds of little snakes and alligators and frogs everywhere. It's not done. It's not done at all. Um, this takes a lot of items, but it's some good progress. I'm very proud of it. I wonder, can I put a snapping turtle on top of this ruined seat? Oh my goodness, I can. Oh, he's going there. Look at him go. Live his best life. <laughs> That's fantastic. Wait, can I can I put one on, on top of this log thingy? <gasps> Snapping turtles everywhere. Perfect. That's absolutely hilarious. I didn't know I could do that, but okay. I think that's really good. We're making some good progress. Um, I think I'm done working on this for now. I'm kind of getting tired of it, but pretty decent, pretty decent. Once it's finished, I feel like it's gonna look really, really nice. Like, I feel like this is a really good representation of the good old Everglades, so I'm very proud. I also had a thought cross my mind that maybe a river slash bridge could be a good transition point for these things. Like, you know, this Everglades and whatever my entrance is gonna end up being, they're not gonna be exactly the same vibe, so maybe I could just do like a nifty little like a little mini bridge to kind of separate them. I think I'm gonna try it. And to make it more cohesive, we could add just a little baby waterfall up here just to make it look nice. Okay, now let's go get that bridge. I don't know which one I'm gonna do, honestly. I'm thinking the suspension bridge because that's my favorite bridge in this game, but we'll see. Besties, bad news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sad. I'm so sad. I don't know. I guess it's too close to the airport. Okay, let me try to just like fix it a little bit. Maybe if we have it be not totally centered, then it'll be okay. But then it's not centered, but whatever. Can I place it here? Or is it gonna get mad at me? Nope. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna get mad. I just had an epiphany. I don't need to- okay, hold on. <laughs> it's just that it's too close to the airport, so I don't need to keep moving it left and right. I just need to move it back by one. That's way easier. Okay, I pushed everything back. Now please, please, this stupid bridge that's giving me so many problems. Thank you. Thank you. Let me imagine it. Please look good. You know what? Good enough. It is good enough, besties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once this is actually built, I'm going to terraform like this little strip right here, but I'm gonna leave that unterraformed for now so I can still run back and forth because like I said, I have a plot open so I can't time travel right now. So we will deal with all of this at some point. Oh, one last thing that I wanted to include in here. Maybe I won't include a snapping turtle on... Hmm on this on this one <laughs> there's too many snapping turtles on top of things but i wanted to include this gyroid because he low-key fits in here he looks like a little like frog toad dude so cute anyway i'm gonna see if any villagers are crafting or anything oh my goodness boots is sick bestie oh you just sneezed on me that was ew okay you know i was gonna get him some medicine but since he freaking sneezed on me i'm not going to that was a little too rude to be honest for my tastes oh how is all of that looking on the map by the way it's looking interesting honestly i kind of like it kind of looks cool i know i said i was gonna make that little like welcome center with all of the storefronts but i think it's i think it's fine i don't think i need to do that anymore i am so obsessed with this pool design oh my goodness i literally want to start decorating someone's yard just so i can use it but i must resist anyways i was thinking um, my main struggle with this island that I've been saying is I just don't know where to put things and that makes me like kind of have decision fatigue where it's like there's so many choices to make and I don't know which one to make so I just don't make any so I don't do anything so I haven't been like decorating except for the Everglades part but like that's literally it. So I was thinking I could easily make another decision 
and that decision is where the Miami section is gonna go. I definitely want to make a Miami section. In order to make a Miami area, um, unfortunately, we're gonna need a lot of custom designs for like buildings and stuff. I'm really hoping that I'm gonna have enough space for everything. I truly, I truly don't know if I will, but I think we'll make it work. So let's look for a couple of designs because after I finish the Everglades, I think I want to work on the Miami section. So let's just look for some design codes now as a little treat for me making some progress on the Everglades. I don't really think I need too many codes. I just need like a cute little like skyscraper, like apartment building design. I really like this one. Something to put on simple panels. Oh, and look, I already have some stuff down here that I could use. I could totally use this like sliding door, this glass window. That'll be good, I think. Okay, yes. And then the other main thing I'm gonna need is a road. And this can, this can get pretty bad with custom design slots and I really don't want to use that many. So we'll see if I can find something that doesn't take up too much. Honestly, I think I could make it work with just two tiles. I think we're just going to use these two right here. That way we have the yellow, that way we have the white lines in the middle and we have just like the regular asphalt on the other sides. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do this. Now I'm feeling really inspired to work on this. Oh my goodness, should I? Okay, no, there's not really too much I can do because I would need to clear off either all of this entrance that I built or all of this flower stuff over here, which is like, eh, I don't really feel like doing that. But I can kind of make like a little mini in-game mood board, kind of like how I did with the Everglades. I did that like on stream once. And let me just pull some stuff out and see what I can do here. Okay, I have decided. I think I'm going to tear down this little mini entrance that I made. I know, I know. I spend so much time on it, but it's okay. I think it'll be worth it. Okay, I cleared out most of this stuff and I wanted to make this road centered with this like little river and it's not gonna be centered with the bridge. Please forgive me, I don't think it will be. So I'm thinking I do the road like this, right? We only have the two pieces, which is the piece with the white marker and the, the blank road pretty much and usually these pieces come with a sidewalk right which i didn't grab but i have these tiles that i'm going to use for the pool that i think i could just use as a sidewalk and like that'll be totally fine oh yeah yeah this will work this will work and then i know people use a lot of these like server items for like a city type of skyline thing so we could definitely do something like that and then I've got our little apartment buildings something like that plus the little windows I don't know if I'll just do like a bunch of simple panels or if I would want to do like mini buildings I don't really know I guess I could use storefronts no those are a little like too rustic I don't know oh, this is a lot of blue hmm I don't know how I feel about that but something along these lines and we could do like a little neon sign. We gotta have a lot of lights and everything. Palm tree lamps, of course, of course. Also little street lamps, some garbage cans to make it more city-like. Gotta do a manhole cover. We'll do cars on the street because of course, lots of traffic. So something like this. I don't know, I think that's pretty good. Even for just this little tiny chunk, I feel like this is nice. I would probably make the street wider. I would probably make the street wider and also, I mean, much, much longer, of course, but also wider. And I would try to do some like cliffs and stuff to kind of elevate some of these simple panels and to make it look more like skyscrapers because that's kind of what I think of when I think of Miami. And then we would do palm trees, palm tree lamps, kind of like all of this stuff, you know? But oh my goodness, I think this is a really good little mini mood board. I'm very excited about it. I may potentially get a different custom design than this like blue tile checker one because if I'm going to keep these windows, which I think I will, I kind of don't want that much blue, you know? But we shall see. Aside from that, I'm very happy with our progress today. <laughs> we kind of did very opposite things of the Everglades and then a little Miami little city kind of mood board, but I'm kind of excited about it. 
Um, I'm just trying to get things going on this island, so whatever I gotta do to be inspired, you know? If that means that I don't fully finish something and I start working on something else, so be it. I don't care. There's no rules. I'm just trying to get this island going in whatever way I can and stay inspired and stay motivated and not get burnt out, you know what I mean? So I think that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. But don't forget to join my live streams every Monday at 4 p.m. EST. That's where I do the majority of my villager hunting, so definitely come by if you want to have a good grand time. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on all of my social media. They will be linked down below. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.